A lot of folks were shocked when the French drama Amour won an Academy Award nomination for Best Picture, Emmanuel Riva for Best Actress, and Michael Haneke for Best Director, the Austrian filmmaker beating high-profile Americans like Ben Affleck, Catherine Bigelow, and Quentin Tarantino. I was gobsmacked myself. Amour is a hell of a movie, but the Academy doesn't often nominate foreign language films for the top prize, especially when they're bleak, arty, glacially paced, profoundly hopeless. I could go on. So what's the deal with this one? Well, it's two plus grueling hours of an 80-something woman dying very slowly, and an 80-something man looking on helplessly. Riva plays the woman, a retired music teacher, Jean-Louis Trintignant, her husband. They're proud, self-sufficient, the embodiment of Western European upper-middle-class refinement in a Paris apartment that's a bastion of culture, a refuge, until it becomes a prison. The light growing colder as the woman loses one precious faculty after another. Qu'est-ce qui se passe? Coucou. C'est moi. Loss of movement. Anne. Loss of language. Qu'est-ce qui se passe? As their daughter, Isabelle Huppert, is a bystander, the couple doesn't even want her standing by. Qu'est-ce qui se passe? I'm not a fan of Michael Haneke's other films, among them the thriller Funny Games. What? Sie wird mit uns, dass sie morgen um neun noch leben, wir mit ihnen, dass sie tot sind. Okay. Made in German and remade shot for shot in English. The piano teacher and cachet. Not to put too fine a point on it, I think he's a pretentious punk, an art house thug, a sadist. Don't worry, he loves these names. He lives to infuriate bourgeois types like me. But in a more he has a real-world antagonist even crueler and more brutal than he is, time. Merely pointing his camera at these two elderly people and not blinking, not turning away, as something happens to them that happens to people we know and will happen to us too, seems like a higher form of compassion. The octogenarian demographic is not well represented on screen, and probably the 80-something-year-olds in the Academy, quite a few, made a statement with their votes. But Amour transcends age. What passes between these two great actors feels sacred. Riva's eyes signal comprehension, even as the sounds coming out of her mouth become animalistic. Trantignan's eyes dismay and then anger but he can't look away. That's a more.